Hello, statistics students, and welcome back to Chapter 9. This is the baseball example still, and we've been working on the baseball example for the last seven uh, examples. And if you haven't seen any of those, my recommendation would be go back and look at those. But what we're working on here is number eight, and we want to do a reverse transformation to turn uh, the linear equation okay, from number four, which I have listed up here, back into an exponential equation. Uh, so really what's happening right now is you see this log. I don't want that next to my salary. Um, and I want to get salary, the predicted salary by itself, basically so when I plug in year, I can have something kicking out just the predicted salary. Okay. And what we're going to do at the very end is we're going to compare that to the equation the calculator is going to give us. Okay, but we're going to keep that until the very end. So here, I'll read copy of this down. We have the log of the salary with a hat, right? Because it's predicted. This is negative 3.002 plus 0 0.064 times the year. Okay. And here, we're actually getting in. We don't get to do a lot of heavy math in stats, really, many times. And we are going to do some heavy math type of things going on here. This is a log base 10. So to get rid of that log base 10, we have to give it a base of 10, which uh, then cancels these out, right? And I'm left with salary with a hat, which is really just the goal, which is great and all. But that means that I have to... Uh, do the same to this side, which means this whole thing is up in the power. Now, it is not nearly pretty enough to leave this answer right here that I'm copying down. I will copy it down, though, so you can see what it kind of looks like. This is nowhere close pretty enough, right? Um, we really want this to be an exponential equation. Well, what does an exponential equation look like? Well, it looks like y equals a, b to some power x normally right that's what we usually see so what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can split this thing up now everybody in here has been through a second year algebra course so you should know that like if i asked um what x to the second times x to the third was you could tell me that's x to the fifth right because when you multiply the bases common bases you add the exponents right well, here you can see that there's an addition, which means I can actually break up 10 to the negative 3.002 times, this becomes a times, 10 to the 0 0.064 times the year. Okay, like that should follow from this little tiny example over here. Well, it just so happens then that, you know, let me get a different color. This right here is just a number, right? We can just take that and we can plug it into our calculators. That's 10 to the power of negative 3.002. And I get, you know, not a very big number, but that's okay. This is 9.954. And it gives me this E send in the negative fourth. Of course, that means that this is a tiny number, right? This is uh, scientific notation. Now, the next thing I want to do is can I break this down any any more, right? And it, and it kind of comes down to this point here, and I'll show you another little tiny example. Uh, if I set x to the fourth power, and then I put a two out here, right? So I have x to the fourth power, all to the second power. Well, you know this is kind of like you distribute this power when you see a power to a power, and you get x to the eighth, right? Well, here, these two are multiplying each other. So what I want to do, actually, is instead of multiplying them to each other, I'm just going to, like, bracket this, right? Because in reality, I can put this up in here, and then this, like, multiplication here is just kind of gone, okay? So that gives me another number, right? And I should be able to do that. We take 10 to the power of 0 0.064. We hit enter and we get 1.15, um, what, 9 here. Now the key is this year now is still up in the power. 
Okay. And I still have the salary with the hat on it out front. And now this right here looks very close to this right here. And that is actually the exponential um, equation that we have for our year and our salary. Now, we don't want to just take that. It'd be really nice if we had a way to check our math, right? And the calculator has been designed and programmed to actually be able to spit something out like this. Um, and we're going to see how close ours is to what the calculator would give us. So it does say to compare this equation to the calculator. Well, let's take out our calculators. I have my calculator here. And uh, we're just going to kind of play around. We're going to go to stat. We'll go over to calc. Um, we've done the linear regression before. Maybe I don't want to do that. Um, instead, maybe I will just look for something that looks like exponential. Look at this one right here, exponential regression. Hit that. Now, here's the key. We had to do this log because that's how we got our equation. Look at our end equation. We have salary and just year. We don't have logs or anything in here. So I don't want this L4. I want my original, my L2. Okay. And we can store it if we want. Let's uh, store it as vars, y vars, right? Um, let's not put it in on um, y1. Well, we've always kind of put stuff in y1. Let's put it there anyway. And run it. And look at this. We get 9.9. 9532 9.953 they got a 3 we got a 4 right that is insane like i mean and now think about this this is 1 1 2 3 then 954 is what we got they got the same thing except they got 953 we're really close to that they got 1.1586 and we rounded and we got 1.1589 right here. And I mean, we are very good, right? That is really, really good. If we wanted to see what this looked like, if we go in and we go back to the very original, right? This is thinking all the way back to the first video. If I make this L2 and I hit the zoom 9, you can see that it draws right it has all my original orange points and then it also draws this this curve and that curve right there is this line right here okay and it's kind of a great moment to see it come to life that it's it's basically the same um you can see that it kind of starts to separate here right which also leads us to believe that maybe we shouldn't have trusted um when we did that 2020 prediction okay but there is the baseball example Okay, there are eight total videos on this, and if you are skipping around, okay, and you miss something, feel free to go back. Each video covers exactly one of the example problems from the baseball example.